So, um, you know, a few years ago, we uh, launched a car called the One to One. And the One to One had uh, 1,360 horsepower and it also weighed 1,360 kilos. So, 1,360 horsepower also happens to be equal to one megawatt. So, we actually coined the term mega car. Uh, so, yeah, they are quite uh, all very special. No two Koenigs eggs are generally alike. Uh, we offer a, a huge range. I mean, we can do pretty much anything. Christian sometimes jokes at the factory, our CEO and founder, uh, if they pay us enough, we'll, we'll make it fly. You know? so, <laughs> um, yeah, they're, they're very special. We're going to do 125 uh, Yescos in total over three years, so the production span of three years. I think you're right, we're, we're, we, we, we at Canary Sick are very much at the limit of what mankind has achieved in terms of road car performance. Um, I mean, some of the stats in this car, 1600 horsepower, uh, nine speed transmission with uh, eight clutches uh, in, in, in the transmission. Um, 2,200 pounds of downforce at 175 miles an hour. Um, I mean, a poor road car is pretty, pretty, pretty much. That's kind of, a, you're approaching the limits of physics, I think. Yeah, is, yeah. so we is. have two variants of the ESCO that we're gonna build. This one, which you see for you, this one is called the ring version, uh, fully street legal. Um, but it's geared towards doing lap times that attracts a lot of downforce. We're going to do another version of the car. Uh, so when a customer buys a car, they can choose which one they go for. Uh, the other version is called the 300. It's going to have less downforce, slightly longer gearing, um, the 1600 horsepower engine. And we were hoping that it's going to be the first car to do, a first production road car to do 300 miles an hour. Um, the Ferrari F40 was the first car to do 200 miles an hour. And you know, that was really a car of my generation when I was a kid. Uh, everyone always remembers the F40 because it was the first one to do 200, and that was really, uh, you know, that was a, that was a, a figure that you know everyone uh, kind of aspired to. Everyone wanted to see a car that did more than 200 miles an hour in the 80s, and I think now uh, we've reached the next barrier, which is which is 300. So there is a race, I guess, to to, to see who's going to be first to 300, and we're hoping it's going to be us. So we're really excited. How slow, sorry. With the old car, we managed 285. Uh, with the old car, which was less powerful than this, had more drag than this, had shorter gears than this. Um, so, pretty confident that you know, we could almost do 300 if we, we put longer gears, gave that car more power, gave it longer gears, um, and maybe remove the wing mirrors, <laughs> you know, that, that would remove drag, then we could probably almost do 300 in that car. So, this car's been kind of designed to, to uh, well, this car that we see in front of us is the, is the ring version. Uh, we're going to do another version called the, called the 300. Right. Which will have a smaller front splitter. It won't have this Venturi in the front. It'll have a smaller rear wing. Uh, it'll have slightly longer gear ratios compared to this as well. So it'll have a taller ninth gear uh, to enable it to get to uh, 300. So we're pretty confident, but mm -hmm. still a few years away.